Greetings, one and all two universes! In this show we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Poe, the Dragon Warrior, and Baymax, your personal healthcare companion. The two dragon-related martial artists who fight on a team of six surrounded by Asian culture. What? You thought white and fat were their only similarities? Come on, people. They're practically made to fight each other. But only one can emerge victorious. Let's find out which one that is. This is Universes. Some people struggle to find a place in life, and Poe was no different. He wanted to be a cleaner, a dancer, or even a comedian, but nothing really stuck. He was on a search for a career path one special day and ended up witnessing an epic battle involving the legendary Furious Five. It was at that very moment when he realized what his true passion was, fangirling over Kung Fu. But as the great Master Uguay once said, there are no accidents, as Poe falling in love with this martial art set him up for his future destiny. Poe was chosen to become the legendary dragon warrior with the task of keeping the Valley of Peace peaceful. It was a bit tricky at first as Poe's rather large size made many methods of training quite difficult, but Master Shifu is no slouch of a teacher and found his own way to train Poe. Several warm-ups, push-ups, and dumplings later he was all ready to fulfill the prophecy. Since then he's been living up to his title, stopping bandits, crooks, and a war on Kung Fu itself with his special set of skills. One of these special skills is complete mastery over Kung Fu. He uses his own special bear style and improvises with the environment. Whatever trouble heads his way will have to face the Feet of Fury, a powerful barrage of kicks used to take out multiple foes at once. He'll even use his own weight to his advantage. His thick fur and skin make him immune to nerve-based attacks and he can crush foes with his belly or behind. Poe isn't just a melee fighter though, he has plenty of magical techniques too. The fluttering finger mind slip can make the opponent lose their short-term memory with just a simple wave of the hand. The Golden Lotus Clap can turn foes blind, the Mongolian Fireball can suck up things like a black hole, and the Thundering Wing Hammer fires a powerful green projectile. Then finally there's his most deadly technique, the Wushi Finger Hold. It can be done with a simple flick of the pinky and it expands the victim's chi so much that their body can't handle it. Poe is a complete master of these chi-based moves. He can steal it from others, give it to others, heal himself with it, or create a gigantic chi barrier in the shape of a Chinese dragon. To use all of these fancy powers, you have to be pretty light on your feet, and Poe is excellent at that despite his weight. Poe can run so fast that his own hands light on fire. In order for an object to catch on fire from speed alone, Poe must be traveling at speeds of at least Mach 5. Yep. Hypersonic Kung Fu Panda. And that's not at all surprising once you consider the fact that Poe can redirect cannonballs with his inner peace ability or leap across entire towns in no time at all. He's able to do heavy damage to a city while fighting enemies like Tai Lung, and he even defeated Kai who took out the Jade Palace in a single swing with Uguay's statue. That guy was also strong enough to pull a gigantic rock formation the size of a skyscraper, and Poe was tough enough to survive getting punched through it so hard it shattered. He survived a direct hit from one of those cannonballs I mentioned earlier before he was fast enough to redirect them, he survived getting smashed on the ground so hard it created a gigantic crater in the ground, and he survived being overweight. This Kung Fu Master is ready for anything, except stairs. Now there are two stories for this guy, because Disney is terrible at remaining accurate to the source material. The first version involves a kid by the name of Hiro Takashio. This genius kid was noticed for his intelligence and asked to join a superhero team called Big Hero 6. In order to be able to fight on this team, he created his own personal bodyguard by the name of Baymax, a robot who is also a dragon, but also a robot. 
Yeah, no time to explain it all. The story you're probably familiar with, though, involves a boy by the name of Hiro Hamada. Baymax is actually made by Tadashi as Hiro's own personal bodyguard and healthcare assistant to all. However, the Big Hero 6 part didn't come in until there was a deadly fire at the school. Somebody was thought to still be inside, so Tadashi ran in to save them, unfortunately getting himself killed. After a while, Hiro began to ponder if that fire was even an accident and began to form the team known as Big Hero 6 in order to catch the bad guy who started it. He upgraded his friends and Baymax himself. Now, before these upgrades, Baymax was solely a healthcare robot who assisted in taking care of the health of others. He could spray medicine, perform hundreds of medical procedures, and even scan people to find problems. And this is where the upgrades come in. Hero upgraded Baymax's scanner so much that he can scan an entire city in seconds and locate where anyone is. He can't hide from this big bad robot. He also got a thick suit of armor that protects his plush body from any harm, and he even got some cool martial arts capabilities. Hero programmed Baymax with mastery over all these different kinds of fighting styles, thus eliminating the need for any experience. In addition to all these hand-to-hand -hand combat abilities, Baymax can also shoot his fists like a rocket and have them return like a boomerang. He has a jetpack for flight, and as a weird dragon thing, he can scale any building in seconds like some kind of King Kong monster. And since Baymax is an artificial creation, he should be immune to any chi or aura-based abilities, since he doesn't rely on this form of sentient energy. He can still run low on batteries, though, but it doesn't really matter since he can recharge quite quickly. But he was designed to be a bodyguard after all, and as such, he needs to be able to take care of his friends. Baymax is able to survive a beating from Silver Samurai who's able to trade blows with the legendary Wolverine. He was able to tank a gigantic building fragment and survived a missile explosion after being fast enough to chase it down and destroy it himself. He can fly across entire cities in mere moments and punch through brick walls with his rocket fists. He can lift large rocks and survive powerful hits, even ones hard enough to create a gigantic crater in the ground. Baymax can punch through a formation of microbots that become so dense that they're powerful enough to tear apart a building. And he was able to fly against the pull of a portal that was also strong enough to rip a science facility to pieces. This big poofy robot will do anything it takes to protect the innocent from harm, even if it involves mind control. A super kinky mind control. <laughs> I bet you wish Disney put that part in the movie. But anyways, can Baymax destroy Poe? Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Hey, what's up, my dudes? Wrestler four five six here, back with yet another universe's prediction. Poe versus uh, Baymax. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say Poe. <laughs> I know I've been wrong like all three times now, but I'm really confident about this one. <laughs> like Baymax isn't built for fighting. Poe fights. <laughs> You know, he beat someone who was able to clear out a prison without no problems. And, you know, Baymax is, he's, he's strong and all, but I just don't see him beating Poe. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, I have to give this one to Poe. Hopefully I can get this one right. <laughs> Not playing. Shouts out to Leopold the Brave. Uh, you know, shouts out to Corin O'Keefe. He's been really cool lately. I just want to give him a quick shout out too. All right, peace out, y'all. I'm going over the universe's prediction right here. And this fight is gonna be really intense. Let's go. First off, we're gonna say about Baymax's facts. Baymax's speed is going hypersonic. His strength, pretty much going breaking through stone, and because, and his armor. Is pretty dang durable to take stone pillars and attacks from oh uh, microbots. I think they're called that, and that's pretty impressive for a fighter. But, but, and he has a titanium for extra defense, but he doesn't want to hurt people. But all that stuff, speed, strength, and durability, pretty dang brown. Paul, on the other hand. Um, strength is mm, breaking through doors. Hi guys, Row47 here, and today I am going to talk about my predictions for the next Universes fight, which is Poe from Kung Fu Panda versus Baymax from Big Hero 6. Now for the next fight, I think that Poe would win, and let me tell you why. First of all, um, Poe is extremely durable. Um, 
he was able to endure hits from Tai Long, um, who was trained by Master Shifu, and in the second movie, he even survived um, Lord Shen's cannon. So I don't exactly see Baymax being able to knock him out in any way. I mean, I, mean, I just don't think he has the power to do so. Um, secondly, fr from what I remember, Baymax mostly um, worked with, what was his name? Hero, um, or the other members of the six teenage heroes. So I can't see him taking on a durable martial arts master, such as Poe alone, and managing to beat him. Baymax may have some martial arts skills in his programming, but Poe po has, um, he has taken on martial arts masters such as Tai Lung, and he's beaten them. Yeah, so what's a bunch of programming gonna do against him? Bo also has some pretty deadly moves, such as that Pinky Hole, I can't exactly remember its name, but it's, got, it's called Pinky Hole or something, and I don't exactly see Baymax walking out of that. And combine that with the fact that Poe is extremely durable, and I think he takes this. Yeah. Huh. Sorry, Baymax, but I just can't see you beating this panda. This is my prediction, and this is Row 47, signing out. And the results are in. The winner is... Oh, <laughs> that was a lot closer than you thought, wasn't it? You were probably stressed out. Guess I should have told you beforehand that I would be using the comics too. But in the end, it still wasn't enough to help Baymax defeat the Kung Fu Panda. Now, Baymax being a robot or artificial life form will certainly help him out in some areas, like being immune to Poe's chi-based attacks, but that doesn't change the fact that everything else Poe has still works. The Thundering Wing Hammer will still do damage, the Mongolian Fireball will still hurt, and Poe's Kung Fu will still be effective. Sure, Baymax is programmed with mastery over multiple forms of martial arts, which could possibly include Kung Fu as well, but there's no way he'd know about the existence or means to perform the more magical attacks that are unique to Poe's universe. Plus, Baymax isn't the only one with immunity to some of his foe's moves. Poe could easily easily redirect Baymax's rocket fists with his inner peace ability. Hey, he deflected cannonballs before, so it's not like the speed of Baymax's rockets would be a problem. Same thing goes for his travel speed. Poe was able to run fast enough that his hands caught on fire at Mach 5, while Baymax was barely fast enough to catch up to a missile. Poe would be able to see that robot flying towards him from over a mile away. Now you may be thinking, okay, yeah, Poe is fast enough to fight Baymax, but is he strong enough? I mean, Baymax has armor for crying out loud. If you recall correctly, both Poe and Baymax survived gigantic hits, with Poe tanking getting smashed through that skyscraper-sized rock, and Baymax surviving getting hit with the building fragment and the missile explosion. But the difference is that Poe was perfectly fine. Meanwhile, Baymax sustained heavy damage to both his armor and body, and we all know Baymax isn't very strong without his armor. With the damage Poe can do, breaking it shouldn't be too hard. Baymax may be a healthcare companion, but that by no means qualifies as a healing factor. Sure, he helps others, but the dude can barely patch up his own arms. Meanwhile, Poe's Chi actually has magical healing properties. He has the speed to outpace Baymax, the strength and durability to overpower Baymax, and lots of fancy tricks up his sleeves to catch even a super genius robot like Baymax off guard. <laughs> and I didn't even have to mention how Poe can actually bring himself back to life from the spirit realm. So I guess on a scale of 1 to 10, Baymax would have to rate his pain an 11. The winner is Poe. They are ready. What? Get ready for the next battle! This is not what I was going to do at first, but okay. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>